Hey guys, Emily here. Today I'm going to be teaching a full length reformer jump board class. So I have my jump board already installed. We're not going to take it out or reinstall it during class. Props I have include my box. I have a sticky mat for doing box work and I have a yoga block. Yoga block, small ball, little bitty bitty neck pillow. It should all work. Um, whatever you prefer for sideline legs, rest your head on so your neck's not dipping down. Keep it more in line with your spine. We're going to go ahead and begin today. I have one medium spring on. I'm my machine, that's one red. I'm going to carefully step over my straps and into the well. I usually keep a basket back here with props. I went ahead and I removed that. I'm going to go ahead and place my hands onto my shoulder blocks. My heels are right below my hips. I'm drawing my ribs up and in. My abdominals are coming up and in, but I'm not tucking to get there. I'm sitting in a nice neutral spine and I'm pulling my shoulders down my back, but I'm not moving the carriage away from the bumper. I'm going to keeping my body completely square, so keeping my shoulders pointed to the ground and my hips pointed to the ground. I'm going to extend my leg behind me. It's going to rest on the back frame of the machine while I readjust my body one more time. Then squeezing from where my glutes and my thigh meet. I'm going to bring my leg up to an arabesque and lower. Don't sway down in your abdominals to do this. You want to keep the box of your body completely still. Gentle warm up. We're going to use our hamstrings and our glutes to lift our leg four more times. Here's five. Stamp it, and here's eight. And now, ex 
extend your leg with a flex foot and bend it to stamp your foot on the ceiling. And two. Reestablish, abs up and in. Draw your ribs together. It's easy to sway out, especially on the second leg. Six. Shoulders down, engage underneath your armpits. One more. And now pulse at eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend your leg. Bring it down with control. And walk it through. Now, we're going to take a few steps back. We're going to come out. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm going to come into a flat back position. I'm not going to sway down. I'm in a neutral body. But my arms are extended. My heels are underneath my hips still. And my hands are draped over. I want to pull. I want to clench on with my fingers. I want to use my underarms to pull. So if your hands are even right here, that's fine. But don't grip on with your fingers. From here, I'm going to tuck my tail and begin to curl up, leaving my arms between my biceps. I'm going to curl down a little between my legs. Really a nice stretch. From my tail all the way to the head, on my seat shape curve. I'm going to extend back out, bring my spine back to neutral. Feel the hamstring stretch. Let my ears stay between my biceps. And exhale to curl. I'm lifting up. I'm not pulling back to move the carriage. I'm rounding and moving the carriage of my abdominals by bringing my ribs to my hips. Keeping my shoulders down my back. I'm going to shrug my shoulders short so I pull them down to engage underneath my arms and my lats. And then lift, squeezing my glutes to press my hips forward. And squeeze to press them forward and lift, drawing up your abdominals. And let's do one more. Come to neutral. Don't sway up. It'll be harder to regroup. And up. And reach it out. Now, release your hands down to the well. Or onto the front of your thigh. Fold over your legs. Take a few deep breaths. Go ahead and shake your head out. Nod it. Normally. Yes and no. And now, place your hands on the front of your shins. Squeezing your glutes to stand up so your legs don't... So your hips don't pop out behind you too far. Come up. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Carefully step out of your well. We're going to come over to our springs. We're going to be doing some footwork on the footboard. I prefer to do four springs for footwork. This way I was trained to do it. You can go for whatever your footwork springs are. My headrest is up at this time. I'm going to come down to one. To be gentle on my body, I'm going to keep my toes right at the top of my footboard. I'm going to squeeze my legs together. My knees are squeezed together, my thighs, my calves, my ankles, the insides of my feet. I'm going to draw my ribs together and sink my ribs down to the mat. My sacrum is flat. My shoulder blades are nice and wide. I'm going to press out to straight legs with a flat foot. From there, I'm going to raise up onto my toes to a demi point. I'm going to stay back down. I can wiggle my toes from here. I have a lot of weight in my heels to resist the strings to come back in. Leaving my heels down as low as I can. This is a nice calf stretch right here, too. Stretch it out to flat foot, demi point. Flat foot, and in. Flat foot, demi point. This is our choreography for each foot position. We're going to press out to Flat foot, raise it up to demi point, stretching out the front of our ankle, flat foot, and in. Leave your heels down as much as you can. Here's four, or five. And in. Inhale out. See if you can make it a little bit more fluid, but hit all of the foot points. Now squeeze with your glutes and hamstrings. You should be able to lift your toes when you're flat foot. And then you raise up. You come back down, engage with there again. One more. Now, we're going to take our feet, separate our toes, leave our heels together. Our knees are going to track over our toes. We're going to press up to a flat foot. Raise up. When you raise up, your heels should still be connected. So walk your toes in a little bit at a time to get to where you need to be to maintain this connection. You should feel wrap on your thigh muscle from the inside of your knee to the outside of your hip. Flat foot, sorry, and bring it in. 
Give me your heels down as long as you get in. Left foot, left. While we're doing this, we're maintaining a neutral spine the whole time. We're getting ready for jumping by flowing through the foot positions because we don't want to jump flat foot. We could hurt our knees, hard on our knees. We want to roll through our toes. We articulate off of the jump board and we go toe first and articulate back through our foot to land. We shoot energy down through our feet. As we press our feet up, we shoot energy through our head at the same time as we press away and come back in. From there, I'm just going to take my heels and separate them. Just from the Pilates V position. I did move my toes, I just separated my feet so they're in parallel again. I'm going to press out to flat foot and brace it up and flatten and come. Draw your abdominals up and in from here. Now that we have the foot work down, we're going to really focus on our neutral body position. I have a nice wide collarbone up front. Nice soft sternum. My ribs are drawing together and down as so my abdominals draw up and in. I'm going to squeeze my glutes. Again, I can lift my toes from my flat foot. Good. On the back side, my sacrum, my bone to hip bone, tailbone, are nice and stable and flat on the carriage. I have a slight lift in my low back and then all my ribs are sinking into the mat. My shoulder blades are nice and wide. I lost count, but I'm pretty sure this is 10. From here, I'm going to come wide. My toes are at the top. I'm in a wide Pilates V. My knees are tracking over my toes. I'm going to press out, squeezing in my inner thighs. Press up to demi point, down and in. And flat foot, maybe a little bit of toes. Two. Adjust where you need to right here. Trick. Maintaining a stable sacrum, unless, unless uh, asked to do otherwise, dream jumping is important. So, the higher your feet are on the jump board, the easier it is to maintain a stable sacrum. I am not so good at counting seconds, nor am I so good at counting reps when I'm teaching Pilates. And so we will be counting reps instead of seconds because, let's face it, that can get very hairy. So, I will let you know how many jumps we'll do. We'll all continue to do them as I do them as well. And then we'll move on to the next exercise. So, I know how many reps I need to do to get to roughly 30 seconds. And that's how we're going to do it. So we're going to come up to sitting. I'm going to reduce my spring tension to one medium and one light. On my machine, that is one red and one blue. I'm going to come back down to line. This is the heaviest jump board tension we have. You will know if you are not articulating through your feet for the jump because your carriage will probably move. If your carriage is moving, you could get some more articulation. If you're on a slippy surface, I'm on workout tiles. It's very slippy. My carriage moves all the time. I have a sticky mats under there, but I could still probably roll through my feet a little bit more. We're going to begin doing the same footwork series. I'm squeezing my legs together, one giant mega leg, thighs, knees, ankles, inside of foot, toes. I'm going to press out, rolling through, and come back in. I roll all the way through my foot, and I, I go with my toes. Try not to double bounce your heels. I, I personally have a body type to where my heels pop up. It's nothing to do with the way I'm bouncing. I cannot get my heels down to the mat, down to the jump board. So if that's your body type, I completely understand. But try to bounce them up and then put them back down. Keep going. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale and exhale. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your hands as you press your legs straight. Keep your sacrum with your lower abdominals. 16, 17, we're going to 20, 18. Without stopping, change your feet to Pilates V. Squeeze and turn and keep going. Inhale and exhale. Keep it breathing, guys. Make sure your ribs aren't popping. Make sure your collarbone's nice and wide. 
through your toes. Here's 14. 15. Good morning. Squeeze your inner thighs. 18. Or afternoon. But here, feel those legs now. And now we're going to go to a wide pair, wider than normal. Two. Three. Pull through your feet. Four. Breathe. Establish your body on the carriage. Try to jump off and land with your feet in the same position. Squeeze your glutes to straighten your legs. Strongly over my sternum, 
drawing my ribs to my hips, squeezing my glutes. One more. And now both knees to your chest. Extend your arms and your legs as if you're jumping. Inhale, your arms to the side. Exhale, draw your knees back into table. Look. Inhale, extend arms and legs. Feel the same sensation that you're jumping. You're pressing your feet down as your head goes up. And inhale. Abs in. No rocking on that sacrum, just like in jumping. Here's six. Here's seven. We have one more without a break. We're going to extend both of our feet up to the ceiling. We're going to bring our right leg in. Elbows wide. Keep a little tuck towards your nose. Bring your foot towards you. And then pull it. Don't reach up for your foot. Allow your foot to travel to you. If you need to, give yourself a break by placing your hands behind your head and continuing to move your legs. Here's six. Here's seven, one more, and here's eight. Draw your knees in, grab behind them. Come up to hovering on the edge of your reformer. We have two more exercises in this series of five to go. Go ahead and take another deep breath. Drop your belly button, draw your ribs together. Shake out your neck, nice long neck. Shoulder blades down your back. Inhale. Exhale. Articulate down. Feet up to the ceiling. Head near your hands. We're going to up one. Two inch range. Exhale. And then lift our toes up. And drop one. Two. Three. Lift. One. Two. Three. Here's four. Press your head into your hands, but press your hands into your head and pull up ever so slightly to lengthen your neck. Go ahead, lift a little deeper. Make sure that you are crunching your chin to your chest. Draw your ribs together. And one more. Draw your knees into the tabletop. Rotate to the left, extend your right leg long. Come through center, and exhale, bringing your right knee, coming over to the right. When you do this, ground your back hip so you're not rocking on your hips. You're moving from the belly button above. Your ribs are rotating across. Your belly button below are staying stable. Here's five. Six. Seven, curl up deeper. Don't lose it in the center. Come back to center. Hold on back to your knees. Come up to sitting. Place your feet down on the floor. Hold on real fast. Separate them. Round over your legs. Reaching for the floor. Draw your belly up off your legs. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. And now articulate up. From there. I'm going to drop my legs because so all I have on is one medium spring. For me, that is one red again. We're going to do some more jumping. So, I'm going to come back down the line. We're going to begin jumping in the center before we start running on the carriage. For these exercises, a lot of it's finding your own rhythm. That's why I so say don't necessarily count. Do them as long as I do. And then when we move on, everyone else will move on as well. So we're going to start jumping in the center. Get used to the string tension. It's much lighter. From there, I'm going to start jogging with my left knee. I'm going to lean on my right foot. When I come up again, though, I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch my legs. I want to stop at a 90 degree angle. So, my legs aren't coming in, hugging in half. And I'm not lifting my hips off the carriage. It's a light spring. Enjoy the jogging right now, right? So, gonna keep going. To keep this rhythm going, we're gonna do two more on each side, and then 
we're going to go to a straight leg or a scissor. So kick it up. And now switch. And now switch. Don't tuck your tail to the left. Round your sink. Draw your ribs together. Really enjoy the jump. This is just some fun choreography. We're going to do some more choreography with our jumps. And two more on each side. And then we're going to leave our left leg up and jump single leg on the right leg. And so we're going to jump, rolling for our foot, articulating the ground. I'm not going to land flat footed. Squeeze your glute to straighten your leg. It's easy to forget that. You're really starting to feel it now. Squeeze that glute on the right leg. Keep it going. We have five, four, three, two, one. Jump out and switch. And keep going. Squeeze this glute. Squeeze this glute. Ooh, this leg's always harder to keep straight. Keep it going. Try to land and jump off in the same place every time. Nice white collarbones. Your shoulders aren't helping you with this at all. This is a lower body workout, although your core will definitely feel it for stabilizing right now. Let's go for five. And four. And three. Because when I turn around, I'm not going to waste time by moving 
my sticky mat as well. Getting on to a uh, swan in this position is a little bit trickier. We do want to keep our starting with 12th grip or bra strap meet at the edge of the box. But the jump board's in your way. So you'll have to push out slightly and adjust your body. From there, draw your shoulders down your back. Go ahead and wrap your ribs. Draw your abdominals up and in. Press your pelvis gently in the mat. Squeeze your legs together. Now press out to gently bent arms. Spread your shoulders up to your ears and let your shoulders be pushed down your back by the weight of the springs all the way while maintaining a neutral spine. If you have wrist bumps, pop up to the edge of the box or the sides, placing the meat of your hand on there. If you feel your ribs start to pop at the top, press your hands to the sides. We're not doing a lot of wrist heavy work today. Let's do one more. Now, come in, place your hands on the top. Drop your shoulders down, leave your elbows a little lower to make sure that your shoulder blades aren't popping. Press out on one. Draw your belly up and in. Draw your ribs together. If you feel it in your low back, drop your belly to your spine even more. And then if that doesn't work, squeeze your legs all the way together. And come back. you come back, your head will be the last thing to come back down to neutral and in. If this is too hard on your shoulders, press up from the sides. Hold on as you pull it up and back and in. One more. Press and let me. Press back and in. And now, bringing your hands right by your head, you're going to press out gently. Gentle cross. If you need to lift your hands up to go to meet, go to the sides. It'll work a different area other than your tricep. Or draw your ribs together. Press your pelvis gently into the mat. Now come back in. Place your left hand on the small of your back, square in your shoulders. Jump just with your right hand. One, two. I can't come out very far with one hand. And that's fine. Make sure that your body is rocking and rolling. Abs are in, ribs are together, pelvis is pressing gently into the mat. Come back in, place your left hand on, place your right hand at the small of your back, square your shoulders, press your pelvis in, squeeze your inner thighs, abs are in, ribs together, and pop up one, two, or I should say that's three, that's all I'm doing for, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, and come back in. Carefully. Come up off of the box. We're going to flip around. We're going to be doing pulling straps. One and two with our legs in the frog position. We're going to flip over for some more work. Then we're going to go back to jumping, guys. So don't worry. This is a jump board class, but every jump board needs additional work, too. We're going to be doing pulling frog in the strop, uh, in the frog leg position today. So I'm going to place more of my sternum and 12th rib meat on the front of the box, my, or my bra strap. I'm going to take my straps, place them over my hands, choke up on them. I'm wearing my straps like bracelet or a watch. I choke up on them. Bring my hands to the sides. I have my thumbs right all the way around. That's my pelvis gently on that. Draw my abdominals up and in, shoulders down and back, ribs together. Now, as you pull your hands straight back towards your hips, float your chest up gently. You're not cranking it up. You're still probably looking somewhere between the back top edge of your feet and or lower, and come back. I have squeezing my heels together to more really engage my lower body. I'm not gonna lie. If you felt like pulling straps was hard on your arms. If you're doing it properly with your lower body, you're really going to feel it. Or I do at least. Here's why. I'm not pressing it in so my, my glutes are floating up. I'm pressing my glutes forward. Like in chest expansion, which we will also do later. One more pull up. Stay in the chest expansion. 
Bring your fists in, elbows back, and press back for tricep press. Seven. Abs together, ribs together. Get your pelvis in. Standing back. Float your feet up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come back down. Don't lose your feet. Grab onto the metal or put your thumbs in the rings, like thumb rings. Hook your thumbs around so they're being held underneath your hand. Palms flat to the ground the entire time. Inhale, exhale. Draw your pinky blade edge to your hips and lower back down. Use underneath your arms and down your ribs to float your shoulder blades down your back and keep a nice long neck. I'm still pressing my pelvis in. I'm still drawing my abs up and in. My ribs are still lit together. You'll know if you're flaring your wrist because it'll kickstand and stop you on your articulation back down. My thighs are still light on the mat. Let's do one more because, of course, I lost count. With palms to the ground, we're going to pulse in one. As if we're squeezing an orange under our arm. Four, five. Reach your fingertips towards the jump board. Leaving your hands there, pulse your feet for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With control. Come back into a neutral spine and T. And then release your arms. Let your shins rest on your football for a minute. Go ahead and round over in the front of your box. Taking a couple of nice deep breaths and holding on to the frame of my box. I'm going to come off very carefully to the side. You're going to be moving in a backstroke. And teacher, I'm going to remove my seat from there. I'm going to come on to my box. I'm not grabbing on with my feet and yanking on the jump board. What we do work, pushing on the jump board, we are pushing down, we are not pulling it towards us. That is not what it's meant for. It's very dangerous. It's meant for jumping. It's not necessarily even meant for pushing down on. But you don't push or pull forward or backward on your jump board. I'm gonna bring my legs up to tabletop. Scooch it forward ever so gently. I'm gonna go ahead and articulate down. From there, I'm gonna locate my straps. I'm going to come up towards the back of my box so my shoulders are just off. If you can't hang your head in the wall, go ahead and hold your hand behind your head. We're going to bring our hands together so our knuckles are connected and our fists are apart. I have tension in my shots, so I'm not pulling the carry away from the bumper. I have my arms in a nice wide circle. I'm going to curl up and bring my forehead to my hands. I'm not going to bring my hands to my forehead. My hands to the same spot. I come right here. My feet come to the tabletop. I'm going to extend my arms to the ceiling, my feet to the ceiling. I'm going to circle my arms and legs to the side, curl it up to my working level, and I'm going to draw everything back in slowly with control. My hands are going to stop, and I'm going to bring my forehead to my hands when I'm at the bumper. And lift and open. Working level. Come back in, bringing your forehead to your hands. One more. Dropping your belly and in. Maintaining a stable sacrum. Reversing. Reach your hands and feet up. Reach them both down towards the foot bar. Circle them to the side and lift them to the ceiling. And then curl back in to the starting position. Up and down and circle. Let the carriage stretch the bumper. And then come back in and reach and lower. And circle up, 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 up towards the ceiling. Touch the bumper and then curl in. Draw your knees to your chest. Reach your neck over the box. Give it a nice shake. Hold on to your neck if you need to. Moving into teaser. We're working from tabletop. Since the jump board is there, I have a nice stable sacrum. I have tension in my ropes. If I'm right here and I go, it's harder to regroup myself to roll uh, to articulate up into teaser. I'm going to knock my chin on my chest, reaching my hands down, 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 as if I'm dipping them in water. I'm going to come up to a teaser position. If this is too hard on your go ahead, stay in tabletop, or come into a wide diamond position. Really group into your lower abs. Drawing your ribs to your hips. 
Go ahead and begin to tuck your tail. Don't move your legs yet. Come down to your sacrum. As your hands start to move, bring your knees in. So your hands, knees, tabletop, and head all come down at the same time. Further again, inhale. Exhale, nodding your chin. Or just reaching your fingers down as if we're, we're dipping them in the water. Or lift. Tuck your tail. Now as your hands start to come down after you get to your mid-back, try everything else to come in at the same time. One more, we're gonna add on some special little choreography on this teaser. Make sure you tension in your straps. Inhale, letting your chin just reach your fingers down, 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 down. And lift, nice wide collarbone. Three small circles to the outside, your legs, two. And three, and reverse one, and two. And three, lift up, tuck your tail. When you get down to the back side of where your sternum is reaching or the back of your bra strap, begin to draw everything in and come back down. Take both straps in one hand. Come to the side of your machine slowly with control. Come up to standing. Go ahead and take your straps. From there, you guys did great. We're going to go ahead and remove our box. I'm going to take my yoga block. Uh, I don't care what you use to support your head in this. I prefer the yoga block because I don't like the acoustics inside the ball and it hurts my earpiece when I'm doing it. We're gonna pop our headrest up. We're gonna place whatever we're using right here. A, a very small, very firm pillow, like an embroidery pillow or something of the sort would also work in this position. We're doing side lying in here, much like side lying on the, on the mat. Whatever side you have closest to the carriage, which will be this side, or the mat, which will be this side on our carriage. And you want to lift up. You don't want to sink and get lazy in it. We want to lift up, stack our hips, stack our shoulders, tight box of the body, abs up and in, ribs down, shoulder blades flat. I'm going to come down to lying. I'm going to... I have my back shoulder blade, or my black, back top of my shoulder, pressing gently into the um, shoulder block behind me so they can feel what's going on with my body. From there, I'm going to tuck my knees into a 90 degree position. My bottom leg's going to come back a little bit more because for me personally, it hits the crossbar on my, my um, foot bar. So I'm going to make sure that I have equal space. I'm tucking or tilting my pelvis. Ribs in, drawing up on that side. Whoop! Make sure you're doing it. Come on. I'm going to place my foot up so it's coming right out of my top hip. It's not up here. It's not down here. I'm right here. I can already feel that activation when I glute my hands when I lift my foot and I wiggle my toe, just like we did in footwork. Place my hand in front of my body or on my shoulder block. I'm going to press out, lift up onto my toe. When I come back down, I'm going to lift my toes and come back in and press. And keep going. Abs up and in. This is a nice break. Especially if we just did teaser, right? Seven. Here's eight. We're only going to ten. We're going to be jumping in parallel to begin. Three positions in parallel. Two positions turned out with this foot in a Pilates feet. One more. Come in. And now jump out, articulate through your foot. And keep it going. Our weight's still pretty light. You're definitely going to feel it on this leg. My jumps will become about half the size by the end of this. Keep breathing. This is pretty nice, right? You're going to lie down even though you're lifting up on your side. Let's keep it going. Land your foot in the same place it jumped off. That's the hardest part. Abs up and in. Well, actually, it's all pretty hard. Here's 18, 19, 20, and now jump and tuck your leg to tip up and extend. And tuck and extend. There's three, four. There's only five positions in this sideline series for your leg. Keep it 
Keep it going. There's 12. Keep smiling. 30. Make sure you're not sinking back on your head. 18. Abs up and in. Ribs together. Okay. Now we're going to jump and bring our foot forward a couple inches and back. And forward. And back. Three. This actually feels pretty nice compared to the tucks, right? Feel a different position. Try to keep your knee tracking over your big toe. Boop. There it is. Count it out a little bit if you need to. Don't stop. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20, don't move, turn to Pilates V and jump and land. Come back in further if you're stopping, which I was. Lift up out of your side. Bring your foot forward slightly and up to the top if you need to for the Pilates V position. So you're not rocking back on your sacrum. You want to stay straight hip over hip. Good job, guys. And here we go. Here's five. Four, three, two, one more position after this. Here's one. And now we're going to jump and lift our foot and lower it. And lift and lower. Lift up out of your side. Stack your hips. Stack your shoulders. Oh my gosh. Pound it out if you need to. We are halfway there. Woo! Here's 11. 12, 13, 14, oh my gosh, I don't think my, I think my butt's going to fall off, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, come all the way in, oh, I pounded that one, did you hear that, I slammed it in, don't do that, reach back, pound your glute, or hit your glute, whatever you want to call it, side of your leg. It's okay, body. The muscle guns before there are muscle guns, right? Okay. We're going to come up to sitting. We're going to do a transition before we do some quadruped jumps. I'm going to drop my head rest. I'm going to keep my pillow nearby. I want to place my feet on the shoulder block. For my body personally, I'm sitting mid-reformer, my heels are on, my toes are off. The reason I'm mid-reformer is we're going to be rolling back down to the back side. If you wrap around where your sternum and 12th rib meet, we're going to be rolling back to the mid-back bra strap area for those of us who are using that. We are squeezing our legs together or we have our feet separated no wider than our heels coming out of our sits bones. I'm going to reach down. I'm going to grab my straps. <sighs> We're just going to do some curl back spin. We'll roll our shoulders up again. Tuck our tail. Roll back, 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 back. And articulate up. And tuck your tail and roll back. And back up. Adding on. We're going to go back and extend our right leg up. My thighs are in line, my knees are in line. I'm not dropping that right leg lower like this, and I'm not extending it up to here. I'm maintaining that position. And drop it, one more, and roll back. From here, stay back there. Bicep curl for five. My biceps are parallel with the floor or the carriage. Four, I'm curling over my sternum, I'm supporting my neck by abdominal. Straight your arms, roll up. Replace your foot. Flip your palms to face down. Inhale. Exhale. Tuck your tail. Drop your belly. Lift. Extend your leg and row carefully and slowly. Two. Three. Here's four. And here is five. Tuck your tail and lift. Replace your foot. We are going to be doing the rowing two lifts from the rowing series. 
We're going to be going straight fingers straight up to the ceiling and we're not lifting them over our heads here. Inhale. Exhale, tuck your tail. Roll back. Bring your hands to a 90 degree. Biceps parallel to the floor. So the 90 degrees coming from your forearm to your bicep and lift up and lower. Lift. Three. Four. Five. Extend your arms. Whoops, we forgot that leg lift. You're welcome, it was a gift. I'll try to remember to do that on the other side as well. From there, two more sets. Inhale, exhale, tuck your tail. Roll back, lift that right leg. Bring your hands into the center of your body. So you're touching fists just like you were for uh, bicep, or for breast up, rest your arms out to your teeth, and back, and open, and close. Three, four, curl deeper, five, Extend your arms, come up, and lower. Final set, these are 10 pulses, not five. Arms extended, inhale, exhale, articulate back, extend your foot, bring the backs of your hands towards the jump board, and press back, one, two. Come all the way back to your mid-back. Five, six, engage your lats so you're not getting it into your neck. Nine, ten. My toes are shaking. Ah, come up. We're gonna peg our straps very quickly. I'm gonna scoot back, placing my bottoms, my feet together, the headrest, knees wide to the side. I'm gonna fold over my legs very briefly for a well-deserved butterfly stretch. You'll probably feel it on the outside of that glute, on the sideline legs that we just worked on. Okay, gang. From there, we're gonna come up. I'm going to come into a quadruped position. For myself personally, I leave my reformer closer to uh, the bumper than perhaps other people do. So we wanna come into a quadruped position. It'd be nice if you were able to place your foot so you could flex it over the carriage so that you're not whacking it and hurting anything into your jump board. To do that for myself personally, I have to slide my hands all the way up. If you have to come out and on your knee, really, that's uh, just not a good idea. Please don't do it. If you have to, bring your hands up further. Bring them to your head. Rest drop your shoulders up, back and down. For stabilizing purposes, try to keep your hands to the outside of your reformer, though. Bring your foot up, right behind you. Press out to your flat foot. Bring it up so your heels to the top. You're in an arabesque. Press up to your toes. Drop your heel and come back. We are maintaining a square body the entire time we do this. Much like in the arabesque series for the warm up. So my shoulders are facing the carriage and my hips are facing the carriage. My abs are up and in. I'm not sinking into my low back which we'll need to be careful of once we start jumping. Here's nine. Make sure you're not pressing forward when you're going out. You're pressing from your glutes. Now, articulating through your foot, we're gonna jump and come back. Here's two, three, abs up and in. Four, keep your body and legs, everything's parallel. You have a straight line from the tip top of your head Shooting out of your tailbone. Wrap your ribs. Keep breathing. 13. And here's five. Four. Three. Two. One. And now adding a lift straight up to the ceiling. Pulse it up and down. Don't lose your abs when you do that. Don't sink. Maintain your neutral spine and keep breathing. You don't need me to keep talking to you right now, right? Seven. Shoulders up and down though. Nice long neck. Don't look up at the wall. Don't look down to your knee. Breathe. Here's five. Four. Three. Two, one, slowly with control, come back in. Separate your knees, feet together, 
Sit back on your heels. Reach your hands long on the wind frame. Find some version of child's pose. Back and walk your hands up. Or take it back up to sitting tall. Guys, congratulations. This is a challenging routine. We are still going. We are coming to our transition exercise to go to the left side of the body. After that, we have a few more exercises and we'll be done. So, I'm going to scoot up so that my thighs are touching my shoulder block, but I'm squeezing my glutes to press my hips forward. When I do that, I'm not pressing back. I'm leaving my shoulders over my hips. It is a challenge to maintain this position. I'm going to slide my wrist through my straps and bracelets, choke up on my, strip, my, my straps. Light, 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 light hands on your straps. Now you only have one right on. If you need more weight to this, you need to choke up even further. We're gonna pull back. Reaching our fingers down just like in teaser, as if we're trying to dip them in water. Squeeze your glutes, look to the left, or right, look center, look to the left, look center. Really slowly forward, don't move your body. Just your arms are hinging from your shoulders. Look left, center, right, center, release. I have a soft bend in my elbows. I'm pressing my shins into the mat. I'm continuing to breathe. This is probably not a popular opinion, but on jump board days, as long as you continue breathing, I'm really okay. And so we're gonna pull back. And to the left, center, right, center, release. Relocate the squeeze on your glutes. Stack your shoulders back over your hips. One more set on each side, pull back. Look right, center, left, center, release. Squeeze your glutes, pull back. Look left, center, right, center, release. Reach your arms up, adjust your legs, squeeze your glutes to press forward, press your shoulders over your hips. We're going to, we're going to thigh stretch, flat back, hinge back, not as far as you would normally go, and press up. Rather than really straining your thighs on this, see if you can find an actual stretch. You find it by not going back as far. We're going to stretch back. This is an exercise for your quads, but you can also get a nice stretch especially for the work that we've been doing. So what we're focusing on here is our body between two panes of glass. Really stabilize through the box of your body. Now see if you can tighten everything and not lift your arms, but squeeze your glutes to float your body back forward. So lifting to help float your body forward. Come back. And now float it back up yourself. Let's do two more. Stack your shoulders over your hips, your hips over your knees, pull them back. And lift. Let's do one more, guys. And float back. I don't know who's up, who's sweating. I am. We're going to peg our straps. We are going to come back down to the quadruped jumping position. Where you were before is where you will go back to, wherever your hands were, Shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees. Coming back down. This is gonna be fun. Final side, guys. Bring it up. Press it out to begin. Now locate that position where you're in an air basket. Now, draw your ribs up and in. Draw your abdominals up and in. Draw your shoulders down your back by pulling down with your arms. And come back to your to a high heel position. Press out to your heel and then lift. And down and in. Don't rush through this like I just did. But if you have to adjust because you're off filter, do that too. So continue to draw your abdominals up and in. Oh, my whole body's shaking at this point. That's great. What a great workout, right? 
Press it out. Squeeze your glutes. Lift your toes away long. Here's nine. You should have been able to locate your glutes by now. If you haven't been able to, reach out to me and we'll see what we can do for you. Draw your abdominals up and in. Draw your ribs together and down. Now come in. Now begin to articulate through your foot and jump. And jump. Toe first. And jump. Maintain the box of your body. Don't allow your body to shift when you come in or out. Keep it going. Keep it breathing. Squeeze it. To keep your leg up the same height. This is ab, I mean this is ab, glute, and quad and um, hamstring control. With this set, we now have five. Four, three, two, one. Add the lift and lift and lift and lift. Keep breathing. Abs up and in. Ribs together. Don't sink. Make your jump shorter if you need to, but don't slow it down. Draw your ribs down, abs up. Gosh, less, right? 15. And now here's five, four, three, two, and one. Come in. Let's make heel touch on that last one. Got a little hard, right? Sit back on your heels. Reach your arms long. I'm going to do a final child's pose. And lock your hands up. Back. Articulate up to sitting. We're going to come into the same position for the curl backs with the leg lift and the light arm work that we did earlier as a transition before sideline legs with jumps. So, I'm going to come forward. Let me bring my arms out in front of me. Sit up as straight as I can. Whew, tuck my tail. No leg left on this one. Roll back to my mid back. And come up. Scoot over just a little bit. A little close to the jump board for my taste. Tuck my tail. And roll back. And lift. I'm going to roll back to my mid back. And lift my leg. Thigh to thigh, knee to knee, and up. Replace my foot and on back, and lift. The load of my leg helps to counterbalance my body. Make it a little easier, right? One more, but we're still working that left leg. And now I'm gonna come back up. Now when I come back down this time, I'm gonna flip my palms and slow my bicep curl five times. Inhale, exhale, tuck my toe, lower, lift my leg. And I'm going to bicep curl for five, four, three, two, and one. Articulate up. Replace my foot. Time for rowing. Palms down to the ground. Inhale, exhale. Take my tail, roll back. Lift my leg and row. Carefully and slowly, here's five. And four. And I'm going to articulate up. I'm going to replace my foot. We're doing the rowing series too. Lifts. My biceps are parallel with the floor. My forearm is at a 90 degree angle with my biceps. Inhale, exhale, tuck my tail and roll back. Lift my left leg. Bring my arms in. And I'm going to lift and lower. Two. Three. Shoulders down and back. Four. And five. Tuck my tail. And roll up. We're going to do the baby T, big T, extension for five, and then the 10 T pulses back, and then we'll be ready to go to side jumping. <sighs> okay, guys. Inhale, exhale, tight my tail, roll back. I'm looking at my exercise list, wondering why I had so many exercises after this. I have my knuckles touching. I'm gonna open and close. 
and open. Try not to move the carriage. Ribs to hips, like I did on the first one. Since I did, I'm gonna add another one. Tuck my tail, roll up, replace my foot. Time for the T pulses. Palms face, or tops of the hands facing the jump board. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, tug my tail, roll back, extend my left leg, bring my arms out to a T. Come all the way down on my back and pulse back for one, two, three. I'm moving my arms, I'm not allowing my body to shake. Pulling down with my underarms to stay out of my neck and shoulders. Let's do two more. This is, of course, the last count. Oh my gosh, the harder routines are always harder for me to keep count on. And come back up. Whew. Peg my straps. We're going to come back into the butterfly stretch one more time. Running over my legs. I can bring my hands to the outside of the frame of the reformer if I'd like. And then I come up to sitting. I'm going to bring my headrest back up. I'm going to relocate my pillow for side line. Place it down. Here goes nothing. Sideline legs are the hardest to me for some reason. I don't know if they are to you. Could be something else. But I'm going to come down. I'm going to press my back of my shoulder gently into the shoulder block behind me. Make sure I have the same amount of space on the carriage behind me. Stack my hips. Stack my shoulders, abs up and in. Place my leg, so my heel's coming right out of my sit bone. I'm gonna press out, roll up to dummy point, come back down on my heel and come back in. While we're still doing this, let's talk about where our, our top hand is. We can place it in front of us on the carriage. Please don't place it on the uh, reformer frame because they don't want your fingers to get caught. Or I can place it up on the shoulder block. If you do that, don't crunch your shoulder up to your ears. Draw your shoulder down your back. Lift up out of your side, closest to the mat. Shoot energy out of your top leg to stack your hips. Let's do two more. And one more. We're gonna come in and we're gonna begin jumping, articulating through our foot. This is our last set of jumping, so don't be scared to really go for it. Three, stretch energy out for Really enjoy it. The feeling of the floating at the top. Press up through your legs. Lift up on your side. Draw your ass up and in. Okay, and here's five. Squeeze your glutes for four. I can tell when I'm not squeezing my glutes because I get a little shake in my leg. Two, one, we're gonna add the tuck to tabletop and reach it out. Reach it straight and tuck. And out. don't tuck your tail when you do this. Don't lean back on your sacrum room either. Stay stacked. There is no trick to that. It is, it is knowing your body and keeping an eye on it and not allowing other parts of your body to take over. Lift up. 14, 15, and so here it is, here's five, four. In my opinion, the chuck is the hardest one here. Going closer to the bumper. Don't cheat yourself. And now swing your legs straight out and back. And straight out and back. Keep it going. Keep it breathing. Nice long neck. Stack your shoulders. Stack your hips. Woo! Come all the way in, guys. Or don't slam, but don't cheat. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm gonna finish this. Me either. <laughs> okay, and here is five. My legs going on. Four, three, two, one. Pilates V and press out and in. Really rotate your femur and your hip socket. Allow your knee to track over your big toe. Don't rock back 
on your femur. It's easy to try to lift your knee all the way up. Don't allow it to happen. Check on your femur. Make sure your hips are set. Or your sacrum. Sorry, not your femur. Squeeze your glutes to straighten. Okay, keep it breathing. Squeeze to straighten. And here's five. Four. Roll through your foot. Articulate. Okay. It's time to add the lift. Woo. Oh Found it out. Found it. Lift up the don't don't sink. <laughs> Pound it out if you need to. Oh my gosh. Woo! Don't judge me, I won't judge you. <laughs> Uh, your 
your tailbone. Okay. Place your right hand behind the small of your back. Abs up and in, ribs down, shoulders down your back, and bounce off the one. You might not come in all the way, that's fine. As long as you're keeping your body square. Shoulders down the whole time. Don't allow your shoulder to shut. one-legged on our, with our uh, left leg up at the front. So, tuck, tail, tuck my toes on my right foot, press my heel back to the shoulder block right there, bring the ball of my foot to the front, hook my big toe around the front of the carriage, Whew. rock my shoulder blades, squeeze my glutes and lift. My heels popped. Can you lift your hands up? Very right, up and in, and lower. And now lift, hands up. Ooh, light hands, just show me your legs. And lower. One more, guys. Place your hands down. Upper body stays neutral. Press back with your glutes and pull it in. Upper body stays the same. Abs up and in. Ribs down your back, ribs down. Looking over your machine to the floor below. Shoulder blades down your back. I have a nice, gentle bend in my arms. I'm definitely feeling it in my legs now. Nine. And ten. Come back in. Rest. Down, 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 down. I'm going to sit back onto my heels. I'm going to lift my toes up. Place them in between the shoulder rests. So my toes are gently on my headrest right now. I'm going to press back in a neutral back position and pull up. And now I'm going to take my right arm. I'm going to, oh, that popping of my shoulder, I'm press back. Bring my shoulder down, leaving my heels connected with my glutes. I'm going to attempt to place my shoulder on the carriage. Careful if you have long hair that doesn't get caught in your springs. Thread a needle. Come back through center. Place that hand on. I'm going to thread my left hand underneath my right hand. Attempting to bring my shoulder down to the mat. I'm not as flexible on this side. Leave your glutes on your heels. I can bring it down if I lift my, heel, my glutes up. But I want to maintain the integrity of the stretch. It's not about where you can go. But about how stretchy, how much the help stretches your body, how much the stretch helps your body. Come back to your center and come in. From there, I'm going to come onto my back. Wait, I'm sorry, I take that back. I'm going to add my springs on first. And then I'm going to come onto my back. I'm going to place my right foot on. I'm going to lift my left leg up and over for a figure four stretch. I'm lifting up, crossing at my knee, above my ankle, not on my ankle, so I don't stick on my foot. I'm going to leave my foot flat on the jump board, and I'm going to press down. Since I have all the springs on, I want to maintain a flat sacrum too. I'm really going to get in to that hip flexor in a serious way. If you have the jump boards that have trampolines, bring your heel to the bar around the trampoline so you can really get into the stretch. So it would come up here. Draw your ribs together and in. Okay, scoot away. Place your foot on the, the jump board. Now bring your right foot across above the ankle with your leg open, your knee open, cross here right there, flatten your foot. Where can you go? This might be it. I'm going to bring my foot up because that felt really good on the other side, honestly. I'm going to come in. Ooh, this leg's a little bit stretchier. That's not nice. Um, so I'm going to drop my foot and see if I can get a deeper stretch in another position. Guys, these are all things you can do. If you'd like, press gently on that knee to open it. Sit 
but make sure your hips stay square. You're not raising a hip to get that stretch. So press one hip down as you press that knee up. Grab your wrist. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Good job. From there, we're going to come up to city. Jump board is very hard if done properly. So that's why we're getting so much stretching in at this moment. I'm going to drop it down to one light sprint on my machine again. That's one blue. I'm going to press it down into the top of my form. I'm not yanking into it when I do this stretch. When I do psoas stretch, which is what, or eaves lunge, which is what we're about to do with the jump board, it's very good for feedback. For example, I will show you. I'm going to line my toes up with the front edge or front wood of my reformer. I'm going to put my toes on the back, or tuck my toes on the back, press my heel into the shoulder block. Press my glutes, press my hip open with my leg on the carriage already. Then, I'm going to slide the carriage back. I'm sliding my body straight up and down. I'm not leaning forward for it. It doesn't matter how far you get out, but how deep of a hip stretch you can feel in your own body. So I'm maintaining the same distance from the jump board of my body on the way down and on the way up. And I'm going to sink back down, maintaining that same distance again. Grabbing my ribs in, drawing my abdominals up and in. <sighs> Bring your ribs across as if you're wearing a corset. And then up. One more, we're adding the side bend. We're going to drop it down. Lift your arm up and reach it over. Don't pop your hip out to do this. If you need to, make sure you're not popping your hip up. Bring your calf to touch the reformer frame and then reach. Press into the machine to lift up so you're not sinking in to your stretching side. And come up, lifting your arm up. Come around to the opposite side. Bring it right into my jump board there, I'm so tired. Bring my toes to the front of the foot, tuck my toes in the back, reach my heel for the shoulder block, place my foot, my knee on the carriage. Before moving the carriage, press your glutes to press your hip forward, and then sink, keeping the same distance between your body and the jump board that you had when you were in at the bumper. Now, press your calf into the frame as you come up. I'm not saying that you can't do it, I'm saying it gives you a nice inner thigh activation as well. I haven't done much inner thigh today. Bringing our ribs together, drawing our abs up and in. Shoulders down, nice, loose neck. And up, squeeze your glutes to stand. Woo, this glutes. One more, adding the side bend. My left, right hand's gonna float up, I'm gonna press in with my, my left, and I'm gonna reach over to the side, pressing my inner thigh in so that I'm not sinking out to my right hip. I'm gonna come in, lifting my arm as I come up. I'm gonna come into a Pilates speed position, bringing my arms down, and hug a tree low position, or first. Inhale up, reaching my arms overhead. Exhale, glory. Let's do that again without flittering our ribs this time. Slight bend of the knees. Squeeze it all together. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have a great day. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.